Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to apply these screen protectors for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is for the front screen and then also for the camera lenses on the back of the phone. I do wanna mention that Invisible Shield has come out with a new screen protector. This is the new Glass Elite Edge. All right, so now I'm gonna show you everything that comes inside the package and how everything is supposed to be used. Also, I bought this directly from the Zag website. Um, if you're interested, I will link that below for you. Zag, if you order directly from the Zag website, it does offer a uh, warranty. And if you ordered from a separate site, um, all you gotta do is uh, put in your registration number and you will receive warranty for it. So it does come with an instructions guide for you to follow step by step. It is pretty straightforward. I did take a peek at it, um, but sometimes it's just easier for you to see someone actually do it. So that's why I decided to make this video for you guys. Um, so here right here is the actual screen protector. And so first things first is we are going to grab this little black mat that comes with it. You're going to be placing the phone here and this will just help um uh, make sure that the phone is not sliding around on your flat surface i did recently just upgrade to a new iphone so that's why in a little bit you will see me peel off this uh, plastic screen protector that it came with um now so the first step is to basically clean your phone with the little alcohol wipe. And then we're just going to dry off uh, the screen with the little black microfiber cloth that it comes with. Um, I do suggest turning off your phone during this process. Now this is something new I've never seen before. This is a dust removal sticker. Um, this is pretty much a sticker that you're just gonna be tapping away on the phone screen, which will help remove any like dust particles um, and like dust little flurries that sometimes um, you will see uh, through the phone screen protector if you don't clean off your screen protector properly. All right, so now we're gonna be uh, putting on this little red uh, tray, which will help ensure proper alignment. Um, if it's if the screen protector is not placed on straight, um, it may cause uh, issues. I do suggest practicing um, trying to see how you're gonna be applying the screen protector, just like how I'm doing right here. All right, so you're gonna have two tabs, little stickers. Tab one, so this is the part that I got a little confused. Um, usually when you uh, take off uh, tab one, as you see here, I kinda already took off the tab sticker, but you're actually supposed to peel off this like white uh, plastic board. So when you do peel that off, make sure you are not uh, touching the sticky part of that area because that's where it's going to stick. All right, for this next step, I it's really important that you align where the speaker on the top of the front of the screen is. Make sure you're aligning it with the speaker on the actual phone. So 
so i ended up having to actually stand up so i can actually have a better vision i do apologize i didn't realize that my hair was in the way when i was doing this but um this is something that you want to make sure you are not messing up because if you place it on there it's placed on there and it only comes one inside the package All right, once you properly place down the phone screen, you're just gonna tap right in the middle there. And you'll, if you'll see closely, you can kind of see the bubbles creating. And, and then you'll just kind of gently start tapping away on your phone. Maybe use your, the little cloth that it comes with to kind of get all the air bubbles out of the phone screen. You can probably try using this little whiteboard plastic to maybe like kind of scrape off the air bubbles. You just have to be uh, really careful. Um, but I wouldn't worry too much about the air bubbles because it'll eventually just kind of fade away within a week or so. And you won't even notice it once you actually turn on your phone screen. And then the last step is to just kind of take off uh, the second clear tab sheet. And then remove the apply tray and that's pretty much it. You do want to take out as much air bubbles as you can but then again like i said i wouldn't worry too much about it because it does just eventually fade away All right, guys, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm kind of testing out also to see if the screen protector doesn't kind of like irritate the side of the edges, but it didn't, so that's good. Now we're just gonna flip over our iPhone and now we're going to be applying the screen protectors for the camera lenses on the back of the phone. Um, again, this is the same brand, Invincible Shield Glass Fusion and now let me show you what comes inside here which is pretty much the same except obviously the screen protector is a lot smaller and it looks different All right, so here is the screen protector. It's very small. You're actually gonna be placing the screen protectors on, on the camera lenses all at the same time. So I thought that's actually genius. For a second, I thought we had to do it, you know, like place it one by one, but you will be placing it all at once. And I'm just kind of practicing, trying to see how that's gonna be uh, properly aligning that. All right, so you will need to take off your phone case for this. Um, also, make sure you are using the black mat so your phone is not sliding around. Okay, now I'm just gonna zoom you guys in a little bit so that way you guys have a closer look at what I'm looking at. Again, we're gonna follow the same steps. We're gonna use a little alcohol wipe to clean.
and then wipe it down with the black fiber cloth. Make sure it is nice and dry and there's no smudges. And then it also even comes with the dust removal sticker as well. This one is very important. You know, if you, if you don't do this one, you definitely don't want to be taking pictures and then having to see like dust particles in your pictures. So um, also be careful. Um, this will stick very easily to your phone. All right. So this again has a tab one and a tab two. Now tab one, you're just going to be uh, taking that off again, making sure you're not touching the sticky side of it. And then you're carefully going to properly try to align it as close as possible as you can. And then once you place it down, you're going to just kind of press down firmly to make sure that it is on there. All right, so the last step is just removing tab two. And then you're kind of left with this like clear triangle uh, shaped tray. And then you remove that as well. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, there you have it. You have your screen protectors for your front screen and your camera lenses. Hopefully that was easy for you guys to follow through with. Um, please uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if this was helpful for you. Leave me a comment. Um, I definitely do recommend this product. It is very high quality uh, screen protectors. And um, don't forget also to subscribe for future videos. Bye.